This is Devotions from History with Ruthie Oberg. It was on November 9th of 1620 that the happy news began to spread among the 102 passengers aboard the Mayflower that land had finally been sighted. But it was the wrong land. Their charter was for land in Virginia, but they had arrived at Cape Cod, a place where their colony would not be under any established governing authority. There was concern that there would be mutiny in the community without that governing authority, each man doing what he felt was right in his own eyes, without fear of retribution from the rule of law. The pilgrim leaders, along with the help of the soldier, Miles Standish, decided to write up a contract and present it to those on board. This document served as an agreement that every man would consent to live under a rule of law that was based on the consent of the people and that they would set up their own civil government and voluntarily submit to it. This Mayflower Compact was agreed upon and signed on November 11th and the group elected John Carver to be their first governor. This agreement marked the beginning of a new kind of government, one that owed its existence to the consent of the governed. These men understood that left to his own, man would tend to be corrupt and that he needed the rule of law to establish boundaries. But they also understood that man had been created to be free and that no man is fit to govern another without that other's consent. Their simple agreement in the Mayflower Compact marked the basis for the American form of government that was to follow, a government of the people, by the people, and for the people. This is Devotions from History with Ruthie Oberg. Check us out on the web at devotionsfromhistory.org.